YouTube, as you know, I have never had a girlfriend, and as you also know, I am way too intimidated to ever like walk up and start talking to an attractive girl. And these are the reasons that make this next story so amazing. So I was hanging out with my friends dancing it up just like this at a venue in DC called Local 16, when this incredibly attractive girl walks up to me and she says, you're so awesome. But here's the problem, I happened to be at that moment already talking to this other girl who had previously come up and started talking to me. And so the girl who told me I was really awesome even though I thought she was incredibly attractive, I felt like I needed to blow her off because I didn't want to be rude to the first girl who started talking to me first. But a few minutes later I was dancing with my friends and I noticed that girl, we're gonna codename her Ashley which is actually not a code name, that's her real name. And Ashley was dancing right beside me and I turned to my brother Matt who happened to be out with us and I said, Matt, is that the girl who said I was awesome earlier? And Matt is like, yeah, I think that's her. Now the funny thing about this conversation is that I later learned Ashley overheard it. So I was watching Ashley and I was watching as guy after guy came up and hit on her and she was just shutting them down left and right like some kind of dating jujitsu master. But finally there was a moment when no one was talking to her so I tapped her on the shoulder and I said, are you the girl that said I was awesome earlier? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, sweet! But at that very moment her friend walks up and she's like, Ashley we're leaving right now, come on let's go. And I was like, no! But what I actually said was, What's your last name? I'll look you up on Facebook. I know, right? So smooth. So she tells me her last name. Now I'm not gonna use her real last name because I don't want you guys to be able to find her on Facebook and steal her away from me. Hold on, let's go to Twitter and find out a good fake last name we can use for this video. Thank you, Surf Wax Amanda. We're gonna go with your idea, Samsonite. So she's like, my name is Ashley Samsonite. I'm like, great. And I'm thinking to myself, there can't be that many Ashley Samsonites on Facebook. Because her real last name is not weird, but it's not particularly common either. Anyway, as soon as I get home, I immediately go on to Facebook, and it turns out there are 650 Ashley Samsonites on Facebook. And they all have these little tiny blurry photos and you can't tell who is who. Nobody says where they're from. A bunch of them have like three BFFs in the photo with them. So I go through and I friend every single Ashley Sampsonite who is blonde and either does not say where she lives or lives in Washington DC. This takes me hours. But I wake up the next day and five Ashley Sampsonites have accepted my friendship. Which makes you wonder, who are these four people who are just like, ah, here's a random person who wants to be my friend, except. But I looked at their profiles, I figured out which one it was, I sent her a little, we should hang out sometime, message on Facebook, and pow, she said yes, of course, because it's the best pickup line ever. A few days later, we went on our first date, fun fact, Hopefully she won't mind me telling you this, but she told me later that uh, when I was on my way over to pick her up, she was really nervous. In fact, so nervous that she actually Googled what to do when you're nervous before a first date. <laughs> anyway, now we're together and it's really great. I highly recommend it to you. Not, not dating Ashley, dating your own Ashley. But if you do happen to meet that person, I recommend that when you ask for their last name, you also ask what their Facebook photo looks like. And then you say, we should hang out sometime. A-M-P-U-T-E-E, listen up people, don't feel sorry for me. A-M-P-U-T-E-E, the glass is half full, yeah I still got three.